Hey friends, welcome, welcome. It's so good to see you today. We are going to talk about frozen chicken right here. You have all been asking, it's one of the big questions I always get, how in the heck do you cook frozen chicken? Can you cook frozen chicken in your air fryer? We're gonna talk about that today. We got a giveaway as well. Oop, my phone's noisy. We have a giveaway and we are gonna have a ton of fun. So first of all, tell me where you're watching from. If you're watching the replay, let me know that you're watching the replay and where you're watching from. I'm gonna show you, I have a bag of chicken from Costco. I'm also gonna tell you about chicken tenders that you can cook, the frozen ones. And then I'll talk about just like, sometimes I buy chicken in bulk and they're usually really big and I just freeze those together. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you all of those while I'll talk about, I'll show you one of them. Um, so, so good to see all of you from all over the world. It's so, so fun. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, my name is Kathy. Here on YouTube, I teach people how to use their air fryer. So I got an air fryer like a year and a half ago and I just couldn't find very much content on how to use an air fryer. So I figured it out and I decided to start showing you here. So it's so great to see you guys. Thank you for joining me. Quick overview of the schedule um, for today. We have giveaways. I'm gonna do a giveaway at the end of this live stream. And for my replay watchers, I'm doing a giveaway. It's gonna end Monday afternoon, noon on Mountain Time. On Monday, whatever, what, it, what day is Monday? The 12th, 13th, yeah, Monday's the 13th at noon. I'll be picking another winner. So two winners, two air fryers I'm giving away my favorite air fryer. Um, so watch for that. That's coming. And it's so fun to see you. Oh, I've got my wrong little screen there. Boop. That's what I'm supposed to show. I'm doing a giveaway right there. <laughs> wrong screen, wrong little banner. So, so good to have you guys here. Um, let's talk first about burr, burr, um, some seasoning. I'm gonna show you today the seasoning just that I love. You can do, you can apply the way I'm making chicken. It will go with anything if you wanna do frozen chicken. I have found the easiest way is just to find a yummy seasoning blend. I get it from Redmond Real Salt. I will grab, these are a couple that I've been using lately. It's a organic garlic pepper and lemon pepper. And these come in the cute little bottles with the grinders on top. So I'm gonna show you that here in a second, but let's, um, first of all, I'm going to ask a question. I will pop these little questions on here. So you have answers. I'm going to pick a winner from somebody that leaves a comment. So talk to me throughout this chat. We'll have the Q and a there at the end. Um, so tell me what kind of air fryer you already have. If you have one, I guess if you don't have one, Oh, I got a crazy hair. Um, <laughs> if you don't have one, you can go ahead and say that too but pop that down there in the comments and let me know what kind of air fryer you currently have. And let's talk chicken. Okay, so I specifically had, I, I should have written down the name. Somebody or two people left comments saying, please make sure you do the Costco frozen chicken. And here I am, I'm doing Costco frozen chicken. So this one right here, these usually come individually frozen in the bag. So we're gonna cook this one up today. I'm gonna to just show you, pop right here. Here's a finished product. Can you see this? I did this a little bit earlier this morning. There we go. So we're gonna go from here to here and it doesn't take too long. I'm gonna be honest, you guys, I actually prefer, I think it tastes better when you cook it when it's thawed because when it's thawed, you can pound it out, you can even it and then everything cooks evenly. But sometimes we just aren't good at planning ahead. Am I right or am I right? Tell me if you are not, I gotta fly here. Tell me if you are not good at planning ahead. A lot of times that's me in my life. So sometimes you just gotta do frozen and throw some seasoning on and it's golden. So we're gonna do that. Um, also another fantastic option, these chicken tenders from Frozen. I have a recipe coming up. Is it this week or next week? I don't remember. Um, where I use some of these in a super yummy dinner, super fast dinner. 
and I've cooked them from frozen, like from thawed, you can cook these, what was it, eight minutes, I think, five, six, seven, eight minutes, or from frozen, 15 minutes. So, boom. Chicken tenders, super easy also to cook from frozen. So I'm gonna open up this one here. So we have a little bit of a trickiness here. I have my helper helping. She's gonna pop in here. I have someone helping me because we got two kids. This is Hi, my niece. Everybody. This is my niece, Sammy. So she's in the background watching your comments, making sure I don't miss anything important. Thank you, Sammy. She's gonna be my other camera girl because we got the other camera we're gonna switch to as I move over to the air fryer to cook this frozen chicken. Um, let me just pop over here. We'll see. By the way, fun fact while I'm opening this, I have an air fryer book. It's been an ebook since May. It's very, very soon gonna be an even better ebook plus a physical book, an actual piece of paper book that you can get. And uh, I'm working on getting it to be able to ship internationally too, because I know I have a ton of people um, outside of the US that would love it. And I put all the Fahrenheit and Celsius conversions throughout the cookbook. So, all right. So keep an eye out for that. The cookbook's coming, or if you just want the ebook that I have right now that has about 60 recipes, you can snag that paper book coming over 150 recipes. Anyway. So that's on the way. That's super exciting. Um, okay, we are going to just make sure I get that turned on. I'm going to do a quick camera switch right now. Let me show you real quick. Um, boop, right here. I'm going to show you my seasonings. I do have a coupon code. I have a link down in the description. Let me grab that. Um, right for for these uh, salts. It's just healthy or it's like organic. It's They come right from Utah in the United States. And um, that's what I'm really loving for my, um, I'm switching, switching. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here comes the air fryer. Anyway, this is what I'm loving for my seasoning. Okay, we're switching cameras. There we go. Sammy's got the camera. And so here we am. Oh, can you hear me? I didn't switch my I'm going to switch the microphone. Sammy's going to show you the thing. I got to switch the microphone. Oh, all the technicals. Yay. All the technicals. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Let's see. Can you hear me now? Anyway, let me know if you cannot hear me. Maybe I'll turn the mic this way. Okay. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So chicken frozen. Totally. You just saw me. I just got this out of the freezer. My air fryer, I did preheat this mostly because I just washed it. <laughs> and I'm going to plop this chicken right here. You can do parchment paper if you want or not, whatever will work. And then here's what I do. I've got my little oil sprayer. So this is my Mystify oil sprayer. I have a link to this down in the description. And is it working? Can everybody see? Yep. Okay. Um, this has avocado oil in it. That's what I have in here. So this is what I choose to use on my food in the air fryer. I'm going to just lightly mist this and then I'm going to season it. So I want to oil it first. So the seasonings will kind of stick to it. Okay. And so I'm just using that organic lemon pepper from Redmond Real Salt. And it's fantastic by the way. Okay. There. Boom. Now, obviously, in my Kasori 5.8 quart, you can see I've got room for two of these large chicken breasts. With those tenders, I think I can fit, I think I fit like six in there the other day. I could do that many. Anyway, so this is super easy. We're gonna pop it in. We're gonna turn it on. By the way, let me just show you. I have a few questions. I know you got this one yesterday. I'm gonna just show you, for those of you that are new to the air fryer, especially if you have the Kasori, this little guy here, you just slide that away from you. It exposes a little button. You push the button and lift the basket out of the pan, okay? So there, little side note, side note there. Okay, now close it, power it on. We're gonna 
bump this up to 360 for 15 minutes. Boom. Ta -da. That's it for now. Okay, that is it for now. Now we're gonna let this cook while this cooks. I'll talk about some other things. I'll answer some questions and give you more opportunities to enter the giveaway. I'm gonna come switch cameras. Switching, switching, switching. There's the Christmas tree. There we go. Um, camera, camera, switching. Audio, switching. There we go. Okay, whoops, okay. We got it. Okay, so a couple of things. I talked to you about the, the tenders. These thicker ones, these chickens that are thicker, they're gonna take longer to cook, um, but you can still do it in the air fryer, okay? So I'm gonna have Sammy put these in the freezer for me. We are done with that. And just turn that off real quick. Here we are, here we are, <laughs> here we are. So that was, um, I did the lemon pepper. They have garlic pepper. They have an all seasoning that my kids the other day, they made some fries and, um, oh, fun. Um, sorry, I just lost my train of thought. Anyway, they put some all seasoning on French fries. So that was a ton of fun. So yes, let me just switch over here. I'm going to pop on another question. Oh, right there. 360 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius is what we're setting the air fryer temperature at, okay? So that was for the chicken. Now let me show you right here. Let's give you another question. Some people ask me, well, why are you going to give away an air fryer? Like all your people already have an air fryer. And I'm like, oh, you don't even know. When you have one air fryer, and you see the magic of it, you're like, I'm gonna need two air fryers, right? So you can cook multiple sides. And there's some dishes that I can totally cook everything in the one air fryer. And I have that, actually I have a recipe coming up. I think it's this week, this week or next week, I can't remember. Anyway, all in one at the same time, ready to go, super good dinner. Anyway, so tell me in the comments, how many air fryers do you own? Maybe tell me how many you want to own because I think if you are an air fryer lover, you either want another one or you know someone that needs to have one, right? You know someone that's got to have it. Um, anyway, so there we go. Something that I think I forgot to mention. Did I mention this? I think I forgot to. My giveaways, did I forget? I think I forgot. My giveaways are only, it's only going to work for people that are, oh, my banner is hiding it in the contiguous US. So you have to be basically one of the 48 states. So I am so sorry. I know I have so many of you overseas. I'll do another giveaway where I do a gift card or something for um, all my people that are not here in the US. So anyway, I love you. I'm so sorry, but that's just how it's gonna roll this time <laughs> with the giveaway. So let me ask a question right here. Put that question back on there. I'm going to hop over here to the comments and see right here. Sandy just got the kasori. There's a, there's one right here. Karina, Karina does not have an air fryer. So she's hoping she wins. She's from Austin. Totally get that. Awesome. Um, right here, Sharon. Sharon would like to cook two things at once. So sometimes like hamburgers and fries, that would be fun. If you are cooking for your family, it's kind of fun to have that um, for two different things going at the same time. And <laughs> this one makes me laugh. Let's see, these are coming in too quick. I'm missing them. Um, let's see, who else? Right here, here's a good one. Jennifer says she would give hers to her daughter. So I have three of my kids that do not live at home anymore. They all have an air fryer. My mom has an air fryer. And guess what? My sister, who I have for Christmas, she's getting an air fryer. So it's just a good Christmas gift for sure, especially if you love it. Um, 
Karen, no, no, I'm sorry. My Canadian people can't win either. I'm so sorry. Um, can you guys hear me okay? Is it too noisy with that air fryer back there? Let me ask your, or I'm gonna answer your questions here. I'm gonna scroll through. Question time, ask your questions. I'm gonna be doing the giveaway at the very end so you have lots of time to leave comments so I can randomly pick one. Um, Kim got a Black Friday deal, yes. Um, yes, yeah, Suzanne, it is, it is sh uh, shipping's expensive to go overseas. Um, let's see, Puerto Rico. All right, where are your questions? Okay, I'll scroll all the way to the beginning or the bottom. How to reheat in an air fryer? Great question. So if, let's say chicken, so you have some chicken, you want to reheat in the air fryer the next day. What I recommend, I feel like this is in my 25 tips video, if I remember. Um, what I would do is, first of all, just set it out on the counter for about 30 minutes. That just kind of helps the, the meat kind of level out temperature wise. And then I usually pop it in at about three, anywhere from 350 to 380 for about three to five minutes. And you can use that instant read thermometer, which I'll grab right here. Use your instant read thermometer and you can just see if it's hot in the middle. That's a super easy way. Um, and just after three minutes, if it's not quite ready, just rotate it and pop it back in there. So good question. Is there what I need to, there's, what was that? Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, all right. Let's see. Another question right here. How long for frozen broccoli? I usually do frozen broccoli at, it's in several of my videos. Uh, like it's kind of, you can't go wrong. I think I do 350 for eight minutes and I'll shake it one time in the middle. So there. Um, I think a lot of these things, it's not a perfect science. You just kind of do something and see what works, right? So let's see here. Um, this one's funny. You're right. Uh, Linnell, you cannot keep your moms forever, right? How, here's a question. Oops, it went away. It went away. How, here we go. Larry asks, how do I reheat McDonald's fries? I would do the same thing about 353 minutes should work. Maybe 380. Anyway, you just kind of do it. If you guys have an answer for these questions, feel free to answer them in the chat as well. Um, another great question, Michelle, how long for salmon? I have a couple salmon recipes in my cookbook and salmon, you just don't want to overcook it. So for sure you want to have this. Can you grab me my paper off the fridge? Um, and you want to cook it to just the right internal temperature. And if I'm going off memory, which by the way, hashtag I've had eight kids, my memory's not prime, <laughs> but um, that's why I rely on the recipes. I believe it's like six to eight minutes at 350. Here's the key though. This is what you need is this temperature guide. This basically, it's not telling you what to cook it at. It's telling you what to cook it to. So if all else fails, you could just pop something in, do 360, run it for five minutes, take the temperature and see where it's at, and then go from there. So it just kind of depends. If it's something thin, it's going to cook for sure in less than 10 minutes. If it's thicker, it might need anywhere from eight to 15 minutes just depending on what kind of meat it is. So I have this free download. I know a ton of you have gotten it. Um, the link to this is in the video description. I wonder if you can, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I could do that. Um, anyway, I'll get that for you. If you just, you can just get one of my emails and then you can get this. Anyway, so let's see another question right here. Could you, here's a question. Could you air fry a frozen pot pie? Caffeine-free carry. I like that name. That's funny. Um, 
yes, you can. The thing with anything like that, it just takes some time to get the center. It depends if it's like those mini single serve pot pies. I've done those before. And again, you just, I think when I did it, it was about 20 minutes. I probably did about 380, 370. And um, the thing with like the pies or cakes, anything like that, they might start to burn on the top. So you just keep an eye on it. And if it starts to burn on the top, just cover it with foil. So it keeps cooking without um, like burning the top. So the center gets all the way cooked. So anyway, um, let's see. Here's a good question. Andrea says, do we need to preheat an air fryer like an oven? This one, I sometimes people get mad. I don't always preheat, for sure. I do not always preheat. Um, like with meats, usually I will preheat. But most times I'm too lazy and I don't preheat. So you don't have to. But the cool thing is air fryer versus oven. The air fryer just will take five minutes or less to preheat versus your oven. Um, Kasori does recommend that you preheat, but... To be honest, I just don't always do that. So anyway, so let me pop in here. You guys are just going crazy with your comments. Thank you. It's so fun to do this with you all. By the way, I'm doing this every Thursday, I think through the end of the year. We'll be doing it at the same time. Um, oh, I saw a question I want to answer. What was it? Um, oh, Mike asked me. Okay, yeah. Mike, guess what? What is my opinion on the meter thermometer? Guess what, Mike? I've got it. I'm going to show you how to use it here in four minutes. We will be using this because we're not done with that frozen chicken. Okay. So there we go. That's coming. How loud is it, Carol? I don't know. Can you hear it? You guys can't, you guys can't even hear my fan. Oh, good. It's, it feels loud to me. It's, it's like louder than a microwave but not as loud as a vacuum. The newer Kasori, just the five quart Kasori is definitely a lot quieter. So, um, but you know, you just kind of get used to it. I did recently do, I have a video coming up of dehydrator. Like can you dehydrate in the air fryer versus a dehydrator? And I compare the two. And the one thing I loved about the dehydrator is how quiet it is because when you're running it for hours, it gets annoying to hear that noise for hours, right? Versus a dehydrator. But um, anyway, so let me pop down and see what else. Um, Ellen's here. Chicken Parmesan. Yes, it's so good. Ellen just got her kasori. Um, What brand is your instant temperature gauge? Okay. Good question, Barbara. I have an Amazon shop, you guys, and I will link to it. It's, it is linked down in the video description box. And I also have it linked. Here's the, on my Amazon store. So if you go to Amazon right here, that will take you to my, what is it called? It's my Amazon shop where I have all of the things. I'm bringing up a screen share so you can see. Anyway, I have like all the products that I use are linked in here. So I have like my air fryer favorites, shopping guide, that's from Black Friday. Um, just random things in the house, in the kitchen that aren't necessarily air fryer related that you see me use in the video sometimes. So that is all right there. And I get a commission when you go there and buy something and anything that's in your cart, I get a commission and it doesn't cost you any extra money. So that's one way that I provide for my family. So there, there's some disclosure for you. So if you're going to shop on Amazon or buy something air fryer related, if you want to come to my page first and click on my link or go to amazon.com forward slash shop, Babby Leslie Frugal, then thank you. I appreciate that. That's just one way to support me and my family and what we're doing here. So we pop back here to the comments. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Here's a good comment, Aaron. Um, cakes in the air fryer. Yeah, it's not, it's the one thing. I think it's the one thing that I've just found. It's just not super great in the air fryer. You're better off to do it in your oven. It's going to be faster in your oven. Um, 
unless you do cupcakes. You could do cupcakes in the air fryer and that's a lot faster than the oven. But the box cake mix, you just like, you can only cook half of the cake mix and you need to cover it and it takes a long time to cook. So there we go. Anyway, ooh, ooh, there we go. Something just beeped, you know what that means. We are gonna do the next step of the cooking because it's not cooked through, but it has thawed out. And this is what I do. Um, let me show you, I'm gonna pop this back up. So here's the temperature that we did. You're okay, Sammy, you can be in <laughs> camera. And I'm gonna switch cameras really quickly. And then I gotta switch audio. Bear with me, friends, bear with me. There's the air fryer. And here it comes. There. Okay. All right. I need my phone. Oh, I got my phone. Okay. So here is the chicken. Sorry. Some people get annoyed that I sing when I cook, and it just is how I roll. <laughs> it's just me. I'm just sometimes really weird. Okay. How's the light? Is it kind of bad now? It looks great. So for the chicken right now, it looks like it's done, but it's not because it was frozen. So the instant read, see, we can see that it's like 50, 50 there in that thickest part, you know, even less than 50. So at this point, this is where I use the magical thing called the meter. And I'm going to pull up, open my app. So this is, they have these, I have a coupon code for you and it's all Bluetooth connected. So when I pop this out, this light will start flashing. It's gonna try and connect. So it's flashing red and now, oh, nope, I don't want to review. It should connect here in a second. But basically this is just like watching your food cook without watching your food cook, if that makes sense. Let me connect here. There we go. Okay, so I just grab a paper towel because it is hot on the outside and I'm just gonna lift it and I've got the meter here and I'm gonna pop it here into the thickest, what's hot? Into the thickest part of the chicken and I have it like halfway, not all the way in, but there we go. Then I'm gonna put that back down. Oh, and I actually wanna flip it. So there, there we go. A couple things you want to make sure that the meter is not like touching the side of the air fryer. And now that I flipped it, I want to just season the other side. Oh, nice. There's a hair. Um, and so I spray the oil first and just season it however much you want. Right. And then, okay. So now here's the app. I don't know if you can see. I'll show you here in a second. I'm gonna set up my cook. I'm doing chicken, breast, and it has like recommended temperatures. I like to go a little under because I like to let it cook more um, as it sits. So I usually run it like, a, I have it go to 160 and I'm gonna start the cook and it's making sure I insert it correctly. And now we'll just pop this back in. And I'm gonna do 360 and I'm gonna go maybe 10 minutes and we'll adjust it if we need to, right there. And the app is gonna do the hard work now. Okay, so let's walk over here. Come here, I'm going to switch my camera. Here, right, there's my Christmas tree. And boom, there we are. Okay, whoa, that's so stressful. That's a hard thing, like in the air fryer, you kind of have to like look over and see. So I've got to have two cameras. Anyway, so now we're doing the second portion of cooking the frozen chicken. I noticed on the bag of the Costco chicken, it does say a quick thaw method is to soak it in cold water for about an hour and then you would cook it. So cooking it from frozen is still faster because you can do it really in less than 30 minutes. It just kind of depends on the size of your chicken. Okay, so that's what we're doing. 
And then what I'm going to show you now is, where did my, let's see, hide that. There we go. We're coming back to the comments. And oh my goodness, you guys are just blowing up the chat. It's so fun to have you here. Thank you. Oh, Pat's here. Some of you just are always here and I know your names because I read your comments. So hello, thank you for being here. Um, I wanted to show you here the meter right here. I have a coupon code for you. Again, this is an affiliate, which means I get, um, was that the right one? Yeah, that means I get a commission. Um, if you're on their page, I have a link in the description. My code is fabfrugal10. It only works on things that are not on sale. Um, so, and the one that I showed you is called the meter plus. So you have to be at home and somewhat near, like the little piece of wood has to be close to the thermometer. And then you can go, I believe it's 165 feet away. Just need to stay on the same, uh, Wi-Fi network. So this is the cool thing. I'm going to show you how the app works. I have a video I took last night when I was making some right here so okay there's a little can you see that funny video what it does in the beginning you can see it has it shows the internal temperature it shows what the target is and sorry this was me playing around last night and then it shows the ambient temperature so you can see the temperature inside the air fryer which is kind of fun you can see at this point um on the app it was warming up still because i had it open for a little bit um but it's kind of fun to watch and see what the ambient temperature is inside your air fryer and how accurate it is. And then it calculates how much time you have remaining. So this one's still figuring out how much time I have left um, on my actual app. But that's a cool thing. So we got Um, it just tells you to remove it from heat. If you like techie, techie stuff, whatever, the, meet, the meter is uh, a lot of fun. Hear you, oh, they cannot hear me. Okay. Um, is it better now? Let me know so glad that I have someone helping me. Oh, I bet it was. Hey, I'm back. Okay. I wonder if it was because I was sharing video. Anyway, sorry. I was showing you what the app looks like, just in case you couldn't hear, um, and how the app works when you're using the thermometer. So now you can see, if you can see, it's telling me I've got about nine minutes until it's going to reach that temperature. Right now, the internal temp is 103. And it's saying that the air fryer is up to 380 inside. And there the middle one shows the target. So or I'm trying there. Can you see? <laughs> Try not could not have a glare. Anyway, so that's how the meter works. It's a ton of fun. Um, fun accessory for anybody that has a grill, a smoker, an air fryer. They are not gonna work in a pressure cooker. They're not, you shouldn't put them in pressure cookers or um, like submerge in water. So just so you know, um, you don't want to do that. So let me ask or answer some more questions. My air fryer has five minutes, but this is telling me eight minutes left. So we'll just keep an eye on there. Um, bacon, Catherine I was wondering about bacon. Catherine, oh my word, you will never cook bacon any other way. If you have done this, give me a heart say bacon's the best, whatever, bacon the air fryer. Now, at first, I would just put like a couple slices in and squeeze it in there. 
Um, but like the other day, I just had like, I don't know, eight pieces. I didn't even separate them. I just threw them down in. I turned it on. <sighs> I think I ran it for about eight minutes. And then I kind of used my tongs and separated it and ran it for like three more minutes, probably at 380. Seems to be my common number lately and cooked up the bacon. And then all the grease just goes to the bottom of the pan. And it's such an easy mess to clean up. We actually left the pan out overnight. And the next morning, everything, all the grease was hard. And I just used paper towels and wiped it up. And then I soaked it. Bacon in the air fryer is the bomb diggity. Yes. Um, anyway, so there you go. I love this comment from Melanie. I've had mine about a month and not, I have not used the oven since. Yes. Yes, I hear you. I hear you right there. Um, here's a question about the Kasori five quart. Have you cooked steak in the Kasori five quart? Cause the Kasori five quart goes up to 450 degrees and I did do a steak, but do I remember? I feel like I had it done in six minutes and I think that I did not even flip it. Does that help? Just kind of a test, a thing to test. Although a steak kind of a, an expensive test, right? So <laughs> ah, there we go. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm going to pop all the way to the bottom. Here we go. Oh, now you guys are all talking. You guys are talking about bacon. Um, okay. Paul, I don't like bacon grease. So um, if you want me to save some for you and you want to come get it. Um, no. <laughs> You guys are all like, save the grease. Sorry. Um, what are, okay, where is the five-day challenge, Bonnie? Okay, you guys, I have, it's in the works. I've had, my book stuff has slowed me down a bit. Here, this, this describes it a little bit better. But you can go to airfryerchallenge.com. You'll get on my wait list. And then, oh, I just got my five-minute warning beep. Um, you can get on my wait list. And I'll email you when I'm going to launch the challenge. Originally, I was going to launch the challenge like two weeks before Thanksgiving. And then that didn't happen. Just a whole bunch of things happened. So that didn't happen. Then I was going to launch the challenge like this week. And then other things happened. Then I was going to do it next week. And I'm just not ready. The book stuff has taken a lot of my time. And we've just had a little bumps in the road. So it might be that we don't do the challenge till right after Christmas which will be great. But what it's going to be is we're going to just five days. Every day I'll go live. We'll have a private Facebook group. I'll go live. I will have giveaways. Um, and we're just going to have like a little meal plan and we're going to take, everyone will show what they've done and it'll be daily Q and A. And I'm like hand holding you, helping you use your air fryer. Cause some people it's just overwhelming. It seems scary. And other people are like, I, they, they just don't know how to get past that point of using it for French fries and chicken wings and things like that. They want to take it to the next level, but they just can't uh, do it. So it's just going to be a dedicated time to really use your air fryer um, in a way that will serve you and serve your family. So that's what's happening there. You can sign up there and then just watch for an email from me. It is coming. Um, it will just, I haven't priced it yet. I mean, we're talking for sure less than $30, um, but we'll have giveaways and fun things going on. So it's going to totally be fun. And yes, thank you. I have all of the links, everything are down in the video description box um, right there. So there we go. All right, the air fryer is done, but my thermometer says, it says I still have four minutes. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to come. I'm going to hit it for three more minutes. So that's kind of the cool thing about meter. And actually, if I was paying attention, I could go and change. Like while it's cooking, you can change the time. You can change the temp without even stopping it. You don't have to open it with the meter and lose that heat buildup. So anyway, so right now it's saying it's at 141 and the target is 160 so there you go 
Well, there we go. Um, Ralph saying, how long for pork tenderloin? I don't remember, Ralph, but I feel like it was 14, 15, 16 minutes. It kind of depends on the size again, um, but I have an amazing recipe for the pork tenderloin. If you go, you can come to my channel and search pork tenderloin or go to my website, fabulouslyfrugal.com and search the recipes for pork tenderloin and you'll find a super, super yummy, yummy, yummy recipe. I know a lot of you have made it and you love it. So there we go. Okay. So many questions. So many questions. Um, yes, Diane. Good question. Can you do more complete meals? Like, um, I'm guessing you mean like, uh, like a protein and veggies all at once. So yes, I do have several of those on my channel and old videos. And I have coming up, I have, I just did four recipes. Sammy and I just did it two days ago. And I can't even remember what they all are. But yes, I believe one, two of them are complete meals. One, two, what was the third? I don't remember. Oh yeah. Yeah. Two of them were totally complete meals. One of them's I show you how to do what else to do with it anyway so it's coming it's coming uh, can one stack pork tenderloins at four at a time oh mike so i guess it depends like are you, if you're talking about pork chops you could lay them side by side a large like a large pork t tenderloin you wouldn't want to put a whole bunch in there because they wouldn't cut, cook like the air still has to circulate around the food so hopefully that answered your question there um, whoops. Michelle asked, can you do ribs? Michelle, okay. I have done ribs in the air fryer twice, but here's my problem. I'm super spoiled with our smoker. And so we've done air fryer ribs and we're just like, they're okay, but like the ones in the smoker are amazing. So I just haven't done a video on it just because I just think if you've got ribs, throw them on your smoker because that's so yum, yum, yum. Anyway, so hopefully that answered the question. You could maybe do, like you could cook ribs in your Instant Pot and then finish them in the air fryer. That would maybe be fun. Okay, that's done. This is still saying one minute. I'm gonna just let it, oh, it's perfect. Okay, so it says remove from heat. I'm just gonna leave it there and let it rest now for five minutes. Um, right now it's saying 156. So we'll just let that rest. I'll finish answering questions and I owe you guys a giveaway and we're going to do the chicken. So anyway, um, yes, Don, you've got it right here. You can literally make anything in the air fryer except soup and full size cake. I'll add that there. So, but otherwise you can totally, it's just a mini convection oven. You, anything you could cook in the oven, you can cook in your air fryer um, as long as it fits. And a lot of things fit and you can cook them in half the time. And you, if you preheat, it will take less than five minutes to preheat. So anyway, there we go. Get a ham steak. Oh my word, what the heck? Rhonda. Okay, I feel like I've heard this before. Get a ham steak, put peanut butter and mustard on it. Who has done this? Somebody else told me about a really weird combination. And I was like, what? But I kind of like trying weird combinations. So, um. Oh, that's nice. You think I'll be able to make, figure out how to make soup? I just think it would take way too long. So um, hamburgers in the air fryer, the bomb diggity, frozen or fresh. Either one will work. Frozen, if I recall, was 12 to 16 minutes, probably 380. <laughs> it's in my recipe book. You guys, I just don't have it memory. So um, here's a good question today. What size of baking pan fits in the air fryer? It just depends on what air fryer you have and how big it is. So mine is nine by nine square. So I could put in an eight inch pan. Um, and I do have some dishes that Costco sells that fit in there pretty well. Like they're glass dishes that are air or oven safe. So another thing, if it's air fryer, if, if we can go in the air fryer, if we can go in the oven, it can go in the air fryer. Blech. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying here. Um, let's see. Steaks in the air fryer. Yes. Yes. 
Beyond the Skin with Michelle. Yes, Steak in the Air Fryer. And I have either hate comments on that post or people that love it. Go search my channel. I have a whole video from about a year ago. And I think I'm wearing this sweater in that video, actually. I think so. Um, a salt substitute? A salt substitute? Um, no. I'm just, okay. I mean, you could do any sort of, any sort of blend that you love, any sort of rub. Um, I'm just not, do you know of a good salt substitute? Just do like you just do garlic powder. Yeah. yeah. You always can't go wrong with garlic powder. <laughs> so just any sort of blend of, um, seasonings are super yummy. Just whatever you love. So, okay. Are we out of sound again? Maybe Patricia's behind. Yeah, we're good. So. Okay. Let's see. What else? Bacon, bacon. Yes. Um, good question. Kim, will the cookbook show nutritional values? If I wanted to do that, it was going to take me, it was just going to push everything back even further. And I've been pushing hard to get this done for Christmas. And I feel like with nutritional values, it really just depends on what ingredients you use. There's so many variables and I didn't want to mislead people. So I figure if you have my fitness pal or something like that, then you can plug in the recipe and figure it out yourself. Isn't that, anyway, I just, I was mixed and I was torn on that and I went back and forth and I just decided I wasn't going to do it. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, here's a good question. Do you use your presets more often than not? I hardly ever use my presets. Um, Sherry, I just, I just usually punch in what I want. I think my steak preset I always use. Um, anyway, so there we go. Another question. Another question. Oh, I will do a recipe book giveaway, Margaret, when it's ready, when I actually have it in hand. To be honest, I'm so tired of the project. I'm so ready for it to be done. Anyway, so, um, let's see. Chicken. Shall we test it? Oh, this is saying it's up to 170. So this is now cooked hotter than I want. So let's come on over. Turn that on. Turn that. Let me show. We're going to get ready here. Anyway, there's info on my air fryer challenge. I'm going to take everything off the screen so you guys can see the camera. And by the way, this is coming up. Next, right here, we're going to do that giveaway. I'm going to show you the chicken. I'm going to switch cameras real quick. You guys are so patient with me. Switch my audio. There we go. Oh, I need to switch back to boom. There. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, chicken is done. So the cool thing is, is that it's not like burnt. It's kind of charred, but it's browned beautifully, if you can see that. And my phone is saying it's up to 171. So that is higher than I like because it's going to be pretty dry. It's going to be dried out. So I did overcook this a little bit. Um, and you know what? I'm remembering what the difference was, is when it's done, I open this up and I take it out which kind of makes it not be surrounded so much by hotness, if that makes sense. So here we go. I'm just inserting this elsewhere. There, you can see it's right on track. The other problem with doing frozen, because you can't pound it down and make it all level, is that you're gonna have thin parts over here that are gonna be super high. You know, that's just gonna be kind of dry and chewy. So, Anyway, but it's totally possible. I'm going to pull this out. It's totally possible to do frozen in the air fryer, but I 100% say thawed is better. But sometimes we just don't have time for thought. So we'll come over here. I'm going to have you keep that camera on. Ooh. Oh, it's saying it's ready. There we go. Do you like my stool, you guys? Do you like my setup? See, this is this is true studio. Right? <laughs> okay, all right. Let's come over here and I'll cut into this real quick, and then we will do our giveaway. 
And this is hot, so carefully pull that out. There we go. It's been sitting for a little bit. And your chicken is here. There we go. Juicy chicken for the win, nice and hot. Shall I taste test? Mm -hmm. I shall. I shall taste test. There we go. Protein all the way. Okay, we ready? Oh, the dog's not here. Mm. Okay, you know it's real if I ate it, right? Right? <laughs> okay, so there you go. Let's do a giveaway. Switching camera, my tree looks yellow. And audio. Here we go, here we go. I'm back. There we go. Okay, so good, right? So that's just nice to know. You could do frozen chicken. I've done frozen hamburger patties. Um, you really could do anything frozen. You just need to keep an eye on it and it's going to take longer. I've done frozen chicken wings. Anyway, so P.S. Will you guys leave me a comment and let me know what types of videos you want to see more of? Do you want to see like appetizers for Super Bowl or New Year's Eve? Or do you just want to do dinners or weird things? Anyway, let me know down in the comments below. And it is time for the giveaway. Da, 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 da. So here's what I'm going to do. I have how many hundreds? I'm going to have to scroll through. I'm going to scroll through. I'm no longer looking. Look at me. I'm looking at Sammy. I'm scrolling up and down, up and down, up and down. And I'm going to stop. Now, I have to find out. If you're not in the U.S., then I'll have to pick another winner. I guess there's really no way for me to know. And I found a thing. Rosalinda Rivera. There you go, lady. The air fryer is yours. We'll have to search. And um, when I talk to Rosalinda, if she's not in the contiguous U.S., then I will pick another winner and we'll comment or we'll, we'll announce that. So another giveaway, don't worry. If you still want to win an air fryer after this goes like becomes a replay, you can still comment down in the comments below and I will be picking somebody to win another air fryer from the main channel comments, from the replay comments, if that makes sense, because the live chat will close down. Um, so that's going to come in and then yay, <laughs> JB, I'm sorry. Um, so there's still hope for you. And what's really exciting is next week we'll be doing another live stream. I'm going to do a gift guide. I'm going to share favorite kitchen gifts, favorite gifts for foodies, um, whatever, you know, and we'll do more giveaways because that's so fun, right? Giveaways are so fun. Come back Saturday morning, 7.30 a.m. I have another video starting. And then next Thursday, same time, same place, we will be here and we'll have a lot of fun. It's been so much fun. Are there any other questions I need to ask or answer? Blech. Somebody's been asking about um, fresh chicken, corn on blue. How long should I cook it? Mm, yummy. That's hard to say because are you doing it like authentic? Like it's all wrapped up and everything? I would probably start, I would I would think it would be around 12 minutes at 380. And then I it might be a little bit longer. So just make sure you have that instant read. Meat thermometer or the meter will work too for something thicker like that. It would come in really handy. But that's just kind of what you do. You just see, play with it. If the oven calls for 25 minutes, start like at 12 minutes and drop that temperature down. If the oven says 425, I drop it down to 370, 380, maybe 400, um, and then just start low. Anyway, are there any other super important questions? They're all important. You guys are so fun. You guys are so much fun. It's been a blast to have you here. Um, so I'm in um, mountain time. So that means we'll start at 1130 mountain time, which will be 1230 central, 130 eastern or 1030 Pacific time. 
And then Saturday, 7.30 a.m. Mountain, which is 8.30 Central, 9.30 Eastern, or 6.30 Pacific time. So you guys are so fun. If you have questions on anything that I've talked about, come back and you can look in the video description box below. Um, I don't know if I can easily show you on my phone where the video description box is. Maybe it'll be a little bit wonky. Uh, anyway, if you, um, oh, I don't know how to do it from this angle. Anyway, you gotta get out of the live chat. There you go. When you see the title of the video, there's a little drop down thing and then it takes you to all my words. And then that's where all the links are. And I link to recipes there. I link to um, like the, the temperature chart that I showed you. I link to the meter. All those things are right down there. So if that's how you do it on your phone, if you're on your computer, you'll just see some of the words. And I believe it's like read more and you click. So hopefully that answered. So, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what the time zone is for Africa. I'm so sorry. I'll just tell you, it's almost 1230 Mountain right now. So it'll be whatever it is from there. There you go. Or Google it, right? Um, anyway, you guys are the best. It's been a blast. Um, Rosalinda, I will find your comment. Um, actually, let me show you. If you did win you can come to the community tab. If you come on my channel, there's a community section or an about me section, and you can find my email address in there. It's airfryers at fabulously frugal. There you are. Yay. Rosa, Rosalinda. And, and she's a subscriber. So awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And if you hit the bell notification, then you'll get notified when I go live and when my video shows up. So right there. Um, sorry for all the questions I did not answer. Um, I will do my best in the, actually, I won't answer comments in this giveaway one because there's too many of them and it's great, great. So thank you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you Saturday. Bye.